Oh. Oh shit. Aaron. Very impressive. I really must thank you for providing me such invaluable combat data. Cocky little egghead, ain't you? The results provided by my predictive models indicate that this force should be more than capable of handling you. Y'all about to learn predictable. We're taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She's a friend. She only came here to save Marlene. I'm afraid you misunderstand. <coughs> but I really can't be bothered to explain. This facility is home to extraordinary specimens that will change the world as we know it. Do try to be considerate. Oh, I'm gonna be super considerate. I'll kill him quickly. All right, Tifa. Uh, Chi Trap, actually. Smack bang in the middle of him. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Here we go. See ya. See ya. Let's do this. That's a grenade. Oh shit. Oh, Cloud got absolutely bum fucked there. Using force. Oh shit. Sorry, Cloud, you stunned. Down. Ouch. You know what, guys? You know what? Screw you. Have, um, what have we got? Grenade. Orb of Gravity. Uh, Molotov Cocktail. You know, oh, actually, let's use the Fuzzy Wuzzy. Let's use that. Oh, nice! Oh, shit. That was kind of cool. Son of a bitch. Let's get rid of these guys. That's it. There we go. Ow! Parry materia. I think that should be maxed out now. Shit. I know they're weak to fire, but I should still do the trick. There we go. Yeah, Tifa level 36. Looks like your models got it wrong. Yes, an unknown variable, perhaps. Well, no matter. Reinforcements will soon arrive. And we'll kill those two. So will they get here in time to save you from me? Why are you a soldier? Don't get yeah. any ideas, pal. Those things again. What? What is this fascinating phenomenon? What's happening? Where are you taking me? What are those things up to this time? Cloud! <sighs> Barrett. Got it. Stand back. <laughs> That's really interesting. Hey, dude. You came for me. Yep. You good? I'm great. Yay. <sighs> Oh no, he's got a lightsaber. We seen Thanks those? I don't think we. Molly. I owe you one. Save it for later. Yeah, we've not seen these things before. Holy shit! What are those? Armored shock troopers. Holy crap! Well, let's get those things assessed. Allow me. All right, troopers belong to Shinra's Public Security Division, yada, yada, yada. Um, some of the most elite troopers in the military. They are tasked with guarding Shinra's HQ. Weak to lightning, as we expected. 
And uh, no tactical data available. Okay. That's alright. We can deal with that. Tifa. Um, just hit him lots. Skewer. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Alright, let's get a Thundaga on one of these things. Buzz off. Ooh, yeah. Cloud, you're nearly dead, dude. Fuck. I won't give up. Shit. I have not been paying attention to the health. Yeah, they are ripping... Oh my god, they rip you to shreds. Definitely have to block against those guys. Jet. Oh boy. Whoa! Oh my god, they're outside of the suits? Are they roller skating? No way! This is great! I mean, it's bad because we're getting our ass kicked, but it's cool. Dude. Twister. Holy crap. Um, Yeah, things aren't going great, though. But let's get a barrier on Cloud, please. Okay, I guess we didn't get a chance to do that. Son of a bitch! Enhanced Shock Trooper. Okay, I need to I need to assess them again. I got your note. I mean, feel free to help anytime, Aerith. Uh, seriously. All right, resistant to magic. Fire attacks rapidly fill the stagger gauge. Okay. Does anyone have fire apart from Cloud? I don't think so. Oh, did that? I think that hits him. Ow. Let's go up another one. They just move so fast. Son of a bitch. Alright, he's nearly dead. Thank God, I hate those guys. Kiraga. Cloud. Oh, son of a bitch. So nearly got this guy. God damn it. Has he got reflect on That's why! He had reflect on him. That's why I took all that damage. I didn't realize. Oh, son of a bastard. Wait, Barrett, do you not have... I think I took it off him. I took it off him. He doesn't have breach anymore. Crap, that would have been useful. Shit. All right, we'll give haste... You know what, I'm going to swap over to uh, Tifa, actually. Yes, gotcha. Nice. Jax, get away! Alright, now we need to get fire on him before he uses fucking Reflect. There we go. Yeah, don't like that, do you, pal? That's better. I can't see him, but he's dead. They were tough. Aerith, you okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. No biggie. Let's get out oh. of here. Let's go. So many questions, so many questions, and um, interesting with that little thing with Hojo, those of you who have played the original will, will be thinking similar things to me right now, is those floaty Dementors are definitely, definitely influencing events now. I'm, I mean, it's been obvious for a while, but 
and especially just then, they took Hojo away for a reason, and I'm, I'm really interested in seeing what the hell those things deal are. I really, really do want to know why they've been added to the remake. Um, it's nearly 5 a.m. God damn. All right, where are we going? Well, we want to follow him, but there's a lift over here. Oh, that we can't use. Okay, never mind. Never mind then. Just checking. Okay. So I think in the original, in one of these chambers, I think it might have been the one that that creature was in. In the original, there was a, an enemy skill materia. That's where you get it. But it doesn't look like they've put anything here. Okay. Nothing? No, right. Let's rendezvous. Do we have access to Aerith now? Could I, like, change my party? No, I still can't use her. Okay. It's going after him. Oh, it wants his... It wants some ass. Oh, oh, oh he doesn't like Ojo. He doesn't like him. That tail. <sighs> oh, he's scary looking though. What? You wanna go? Stop. <clears throat> this child's a friend. So what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Oh, <laughs> did it just talk? You it asked did. what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agree? <sighs> This music. Red 13. The designation given to me by Hojo. Then you must have another name. What is it? <sighs> we got away. So, we're gonna go get the son of a bitch. Oh no, Cloud. Dude. going on
shit. Hey, it's it's old Christina. You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R and R. Nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? <sighs> we are going to do nothing. Been thinking. Was all that necessary? Had we refused, someone else would have completed the task. We have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience. Perhaps that will ease yours. <sighs> yeah, no. Let's try another tack, then. They were a sacrifice to balance the scales. Say what? After everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? <clears throat> yes, understood. The VP needs us. Vice President. That was a cool little scene with the Turks. I like that. Shows there a little bit. Kind of uneasy about it all. Deliverance from chaos. Cloud. Oh, thank goodness. You're awake. You okay? Yeah. Weapon chest. Where are we? Where I lived when I was still a child. Oh, dude, really? <laughs> Those are some nice ass drawings, Aerith. Holy crap. No appointment needed. Wow. And can I just say, Red 13 looks incredible. I know he's not playable in this game, um, because he he's introduced so late, they didn't... They wanted to, you know, have him make his big playable debut in, a, in the next game. I love his tail. Look at that tail, man. That fire looks so good. And I love his voice. I love Red's voice. Um, but what we just seen, I mean, we're getting a lot of flashbacks now that we wouldn't get until much later in the game. But that is, that is some artwork, Aerith. Before I talk to Are anyone? You okay? Maybe you should rest a little longer. Yeah, I want to see what's in here, though. Reinforced staff. There you go, Aerith. So the only weapon we're missing now is clouds, isn't it? Can we can we equip? Oh, I'm just by myself. Okay. Barrett is chilling on the couch. I don't want you to push yourself. We're all worried. Uh We'll be okay, I think. Probably not, though. My mom and I stayed here years ago when I was just a little girl. The room looks exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, look, she drew herself with her mom. That's adorable. Every morning. They'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, 
That's not their actual name. They called themselves the Setra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well, honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the promised land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? Nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean... To you and your people. Shinra's after it, because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako, they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? <clears throat> Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barret, wait. You can't do that. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> oh, great. These assholes again. Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. Right. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow fixed? Yes. For it is the will of the planet itself. That's kind of depressing. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the Whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure, but I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help all of you and the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. them the yellow flowers <laughs> it's okay we'll find a way out together <sighs> okay best friends Weird. Nothing good on TV? No? Am I supposed to do anything here? Hello? You are. Rick, what are you doing, man? Hey guys, long time no see. Wedge, dude. Wedge. 
You're here? You, you shouldn't be up and moving. I'm feeling much better thanks to Elmira's cooking. I bet. Ah, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Listen, any moment now. <laughs> what was that? An explosion? Anomalous HQ is running the show this time. They're raising hell to try and flush out the president. Oh wow. <clears throat> this complicates matters. It does. That explosion just now put the whole building on high alert. So now we're trapped in here? Engaging lockdown protocol. No need to panic, little lady. See? You can still move freely within Hojo's laboratory. Find a way to the roof. An avalanche chopper will come to extract you. HQ's bailing us out? I doubt it. Not after all the shit we've pulled. I asked them really nicely. <gasps> like super duper nicely. Nice, Thanks, Wedge. Wedge. Just get to the roof, okay? Uh, oh? Uh, this is new. You okay, Wedge? Uh, I didn't ask him to do any of that. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm glad he did. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. Wedge. I'm gonna steal to him out for it later. Oh, I'm sure you will. That's cool. <laughs> and we do now have access to everyone. Or is Barrett left? Oh wait, has Barrett left? Wait a minute. Has Barrett left? I think Barrett's gone. Okay, but we got Aerith back, and it has been a cool minute since we've had her in the party. So, she has a shit ton of SP, and we've got a bunch of new weapons for her. And also, um, we should really give us some material, but I'll do that once we've sorted out our weapons. Um... Yeah, and just so you know, guys, I'm probably going to have to end the session once I'm done sorting out Aerith. So there won't be any more story in this video. But for now, um, I'm going to upgrade weapons. Aerith. So we had the Mithril Rod, which we haven't really had a chance to use much at all. So we're learning Ray of Judgment. Then we've got the Bladed Staff, which is the shield, which looks really nice. Reminds me of Final Fantasy X too. Um... The floral uh, dress sphere, whatever it was called. Uh, keeps enemies at bay and stops projectiles. That's kind of cool. And then we've got the reinforced staff. ATB ward. Allies who... Oh. Oh, hey, look at that. It's like a clock and shit. So allies who use ATB within regain partial ATB from your gauge. Costs two ATB. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, I do want to learn the ability. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with the mithril rod for now. Um, but hopefully we'll get a chance to show off these other weapons as well. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade the mithril rod. In fact, we'll upgrade all the weapons. Uh, so this might take a while. <clears throat> We've already spent quite a few on this one. Uh, and again, go for the... material slots. That's two connected and then additional. Okay. Then magic attack power. That's 14. Magic 20% boost with full MP. That's kind of good. HP. Um, I think we'll go for the magic attack. Plus 10. I bet I've completely forgotten how to use Aerith. Uh, right, so that's all of those points spent. So, yeah. Uh, bladed Staff. Four cores for this one. Look. Okay, it's already got four slots. Critical damage. I mean, this is obviously way more physical based. Although, then again, it looks kind of even. But you'd think a Bladed Staff would be more... Like, is she going to actually hit things with this? don't know. That 
seems to be a lot more, yeah, attack and critical damage and defense. But again, let's go for the Materia. Which is probably just going to be another five. Yeah, it's going to be five slots. Which is fine. Uh, magic attack power... Maybe I should increase the critical hit damage and defense for this one. Uh, max MP, that's pretty good. Get that. 15 MP is decent. And I'm going to go for these defensive abilities, just because it gives this weapon something different than what I've currently been going for. Uh, defense and look we'll go for as well. And then, do I want critical hit damage? We'll go for more MP. Limit break. Yeah, maybe HP? Now we'll go for the critical hit damage stuff. I reckon. And a bit of HP. And then that's all we can get, is it? Oh no, we can get some more HP on this one. Yeah. What do we go for? No, we've already got look. Okay, right. Sorry, this is probably super boring, but I, I want to show this. Uh, so that's fully upgraded for now. And then the reinforced staff looks way more magic based. Only has three slots to begin with. How many cores is it going to have? Only three. Okay. So I'm guessing this thing won't have that many materia slots. Oh no, maybe, maybe five. Maybe still five, I don't know. Magic damage reduction 10% when guarding, that's nice. Definitely get that. Self-healing, 50% boost. Yeah, let's get the material slot. Physical damage reduction, yes. Magic defense, yes. So reinforced, which, yeah, it's going to be a much more defensive staff, it seems. Physical defense plus 5 with high HP. Ew. Oh no, you get six. You get six slots for this one. Cool. We're definitely going to end up using that staff. But, um... Self-healing, 50% boost with low HP. I'm going to go for that. That is pretty good. Um, magic attack power, high HP. Yes. Tempest damage. Physical defense plus 5 with high HP. I'm going to go for that. 16 left, so we can get another one of these if we want. I'm going to go for the magic attack power, just to give that a little boost. Okay, nice. So that's all the SP spent on that one. Um, again, we're going to stick with the Mithril Rod for now, because I do want to learn these abilities. Ray of Judgment looks amazing, and I think I must have only used it once, so that's cool. Now we need to give her Materia and Equipment. I'm going to keep the Auto Cure. But I'm going to move that over here. Healing, definitely. Because we need to level up some of this materia for her. Uh, we could give her Barrett's, but I'd rather keep everyone equipped if I can. Because you never know if we change party members. Um, so let's see, what have we got? Auto cure, ice, healing, fire. <clears throat> Maybe I should give her like the revival instead of cloud. Possibly. Or oh, should I give her some ward materia? Um, which we have two of, don't we? 
Yes, we do. So I'm going to give her warding. So she's going to have fire protection. Oh, wait. No, no. That's elemental. So let's move that up there. Warding. Let's give her the breach. Subversion, I mean. I know he's got it equipped on one of his weapons, but that's fine. Um... Magic up. Prayer. Actually... Yeah, does, does that use... Does that use all... No, definitely give her prayer. Yeah. I know she hasn't got much right now, but I'm going to actually change her armor. Instead of the studded bracer, yeah, we should have some better stuff for you, my darling. In fact, what about that rune? Heavy duty bracer. Sorceress armlet. Could give her the cog bangle. Or actually Supreme would be better. Or do we give her a rune armlet? Uh, physical defense would go down the shitter though. I think I'm going to give her the Supreme one. Yeah. Or maybe... Or the Cog. Magic Defense. It's kind of crazy. Or do I want more physical... You know what? I'm going to go for the Supreme Bracer. There we go. So she's got an extra slot now. Also, I need to give her a Summon. Um, Do I take it off Barra? I don't think so. I think I'm going to go for the... Uh, the Choco Moogle. Just because it's wind. But then again, I mean, Choco Chick has all the different elements. We'll go for Choco Moogle, just because it's the classic summon um, of FF7. And what else should I give her? Cleansing, perhaps? She is more of a healer. I'm going to take that off Cloud. Yes. And then Crescent Moon Charm. Which is kind of good. I'm going to give her... Might actually give her the Time Worn Talisman. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to. There we go. That'll do for now. Okay. So, that will... Yeah, that will wrap us up nicely. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. I think we've made some decent progress there for once. So, um, hopefully we can continue this. Keep the momentum going. I will try my best. I will try my best uh, to record this again very soon. Uh, but it is it is like 20 past 5 in the morning. I either need to try and get some sleep or I need to... Um, I don't know. I'll get this edited, I guess. And then we'll see if I get tired enough to sleep. But thank you everyone for watching. I love you all to bits. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you look forward to the next one. Um, Red 13? Woo! Good stuff, good stuff. Some good fights in this episode, um, in this session. So, uh, yeah, stay safe. Look forward to the next one, guys, hopefully. And uh, I will see you then. So, bye-bye for now. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.